Hello everybody and welcome back to Russian Fishing 4. And this week we're back in Old Berg. And I'm really feeling it today. Uh, let's go tench fishing. In one of my first episodes, I'll link it in the description. If I can remember to, I should. We got it cleaned up here pretty bad. But our skills are greater. We're going to try right here. And we're going to just spread out our three lines between these and try to find fish and see what happens. Let's go through my rods quick. I'll show you what what I'm doing. The big one, the Fantasia. Really doesn't matter your line, but leader down to around 5, 6, 7 kgs. Probably you want fluorocarbon. I don't. I'm going with 5 kgs and right around there with everything. What do we got on the Asteria? 5.4 F carbon. And the Sorrento 130. It's got 5 kg just straight line. I didn't leader it. Because we still got a Lacerdi on that. Alright, let's do it. We got a ground bait we made. It is, uh, I called it basic, basic tench. We'll make some after this. It's ground crackers, corn, and melted cheese. We're going to just try it. That's as close as I think I can make. And let's get right near the edge of the weeds or in them. Oh, yeah. Nailed it, Bav. Oh. Set your reels. I'm not too sure on my drags with these leaders. So I'm going to leave them down 19, 20. It should be safe with cheese and this grown bait we have the possibility of hooking black and grass carp too at least I normally get some when I'm tench fishing I haven't tench fished much lately we're gonna go same grown bait I'm gonna go right for them lily pads boom set my reel don't forget I want to get my lines right in. I'm super pumped. I just got out of work. I normally so if the background's even louder, it's like midday. I just was feeling it. And then we'll go for that punch. Same thing. Basic tench. Man, you're on fire, Bav. Oh, fish. Didn't set the reel. We'll come back. Oh, oh. What do we got? A tench. That's a good sign. It's just a baby. But tench number one on board. Ooh, better fish. Another tench. Tiny. Fast and furious. What do we got there? Tiny common roach. Ooh. I'll be grinding my gears. Another tiny common roach. Alright, fish, where are you going? Ooh. That looks to be another tench. It's got a frickin' ribbon. Fish. Tiny. world is that? Common roach. Alright, let's do this. We're going to go scouting down there. Keep my ears peeled. Somebody just got a tench. I wonder how many people are fishing here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh, that's deep there. I'll try it. All right, let's pull this one. We only got common roach down there. We'll go to red worms on it. Another bait uh, you can try for tench is the black currant boulets. I've done good on them. Ooh, ooh. You got a fish there. Oh, yeah. Tiny tench. All right, we just gotta get. Looks to be another small tench. Fish, sneaky fish. Man, these serenos, it's hard to not fish with them because they just catch fish. This is, oh, where are you, fish? Got a monster? Ooh. Ooh, he's on the surface out there. Ooh, and that thing's going haywire too. Oh, they catch. Grass cart. All right, come to Papa. All right, two kg grass cart. Jeez, would I catch a muskrat? Ooh, tench. Ooh, almost a kg. All right, you, you're coming down. Get two in here. Not bad. Tench. Whew. All right, we're going to have to get the fan. Ooh. The Ooh. I think that's a tench. A 1.3. We want a lot bigger than that. Fish. We're going to try to do that ground bait as soon as we can, but there's just fish biting everywhere. Ooh. Tench. Gibbled. I'll take it. the 
it swing right in. I hope you guys can see it. Even on them long ones, I'm just keeping the rod tip up and letting it swing right into the bank. Texture on top of that invisible prim there. Weird. Shoddy. Oh, yeah, baby. Shoddy mark craftsmanship. Oh, it's a tench. 1.04. Take it. What is that? Big old crucian? That means we got to go back with cheese. All right, ground bait. Let's do this. Feed. Go to our ground baits. Let's look at tench mix. I can't use corn flour, I don't think. I'll have to look. Breadcrumbs, but we can use breadcrumbs as our base. We can put corn in as our additive. And that's about it. Let's make some. Let's go ground bait. Basic tench. Okay, mixture ground crackers and corn. Oh, and then I'm going to add cheese just because cheese is our bait. It's a pretty good all around ground bait, really. I'll make one more. crappy owner almost 25 melted cheese as an additive or you can use the cheese from Cory but that's real expensive unless you eat it down because it uses all 10 of the wheel I wish they'd change that because I like to use real cheese not that processed stuff and all of my tench ground baits well, something big on you we might have to put some taters on you bigger leader common roach why don't it why don't why, why don't we big rod potatoes let's go here actually all right big rod we're gonna we got a seven and a half kg let's just pull the leader dice cheese basic tench Slowed right down. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tench. Told you I'd be back, tench. Have a little chow. Eat these fried crucian carp. That is a recipe I do not recommend making. It's only one serving. As far as I've made it so far. We'll try again. Next time we're crucian gibble fishing. We'll try using some nice ones. Oh, there's a fish. On a big no. Is it the yep? Uh, it might have just been rolling down that hill. I'm pretty sure on Old Berg, that would be a good strategy, though. Just kind of spread your rods out between all these really juicy-looking weed zones. 
and keep moving. You know, don't be too hasty, but. Because I was planning on like doom, doom, and nothing. We just moved down. Come fish off this bridge one of these times to that deep hole out there. It's like the Fantasia lines a little limp. Fish? Tench. It is. We might be getting a bite there. Nope. Gibble 1.311. That seems a bit extreme to have all three lines right there, but we'll give it a second. I'll throw one back down there. Ooh, plop one right down over there, right on the end of that log to the left. White bream they just picked up. So you can you get a lot in this thing. When I first came to Old Berg, I fished. I didn't fish down here a lot, but it looks like fishy water. And when I first came, it's like, boom, right here, make some money. Common roaches, chubs. I was fishing over there once, I think, to that hole. And I was catching breams and stuff, and all of a sudden, the chubs moved in. There were freaking chubs everywhere. It was pretty neat. It was just all of a sudden, it's like the. It was on an episode of. Ooh, Breen. And it was like the freaking school of Chubbs came in and just ate the whole freaking area up. Just got a deal. I have to put some music in. Not there. Common Roach. Try to go to 30 fish. It'll be over an hour at least. And that makes good video. And we already proved a point. There's tench here. I'd like to catch something good sized though. Oh, we're out of ground bait. Best one we got. 7 out of 10. Ooh. Pulled for an instant. We got the air. Ooh, that's a nice size common roach. Ooh, KG common roach. Keeper. Doing it to me again. Baby grass carp. Yep, you're still there. Bang. Caught you, fish. Another common roach. And a tip for anybody that hasn't watched one of my earlier episodes, when there's an update, buy cheese. Because I'm rolling with that cheese we got months ago. I probably got too much. I got like 200 left. But if you like tench fishing, and it's... Gibbled carp. Fish. 
I'm gonna take it down. All right, we gotta get ground bait on here. What do we got there? Tench. Beautiful. So there's tench over there. Let's do it. Ground bait. We got tons of it. It's not very expensive. I think it's like four or five bucks for thirty. But if you like tench fishing, uh, there's that boules if you don't have cheese, black currant, those work. Uh, red worms, sometimes I have very good luck with red worms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some fish. I think I got one over there. I think I got one on them all, figures. Another tench. Trying to do something nice. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, here we go. Be a tench. Ooh, it's fast. All right, we got some best tea, 10 out of 10 quality. Give me a sausage or something if I get a chance to. Where are you coming in now? Whoa, what in the world? I'm thinking that's not a tench. Swamp carp, maybe a black carp. I love black carp. They're my favorite carp. This is it, Fantasia. Ooh, is that a black? What in the world is that? Oh. Yep, black carp. Ooh, 3.9. They're big XP. Pump you up? No, we'll stay. Good fish. Jeez. They're pretty cool looking. Look at that green on them and stuff. They're really cool looking fish. Rub your belly. Alright, see ya. That was on the taters. Let's go with me. No ground bait. Boom. Fire, let it swing in, let it swing in. Perfect. Right in that little notch there. Another tench that's oh no, I was the that was my frickin' beater I saw. Looked like a tench. So definitely successful and don't don't sweat I mean try this spot, of course. Try the other side. The other side of the bridge has weeds just like this, and you can get them there too. And you will get big ones. You can get tension about anywhere, old bird. Ooh. Ooh. That's the one I've been waiting for all day. That cast was beautiful. world is that? Is that a huge freaking... Ooh, trophy common roach! Diggity dang! Good fish! We'll do one that way, like you're going away. Cool. Cheese! Oh, 
Wrong button. <laughs> oh, man. Good fish. I love common roaches. And I love trophy ones the most. We got food to cook. We'll be doing a cooking episode. We might return to Mosquito next week. I have to think about it. Jeez, and even a red worm all day. Oh yeah. Ooh, good, it's our big one. Come on. What in the world is that? Grass carp, we frickin' heave that thing right in. Maybe we'll hit our spot by the camp at Mosquito next week. I can do my cooking. We can spin and jig there. I've never jigged there. Yep, that'll be our plan, I think. And rain or shine. Fish. Pull it down, fish. Looks to be getting a bite on the Fantasia. Finally had a good day with this Fantasia. It's upped our game, even without go up in our reel, so. I do feel I need to get. We'll look at the combos next week, too. We're going to have a nice long episode and really make some decisions as far as our fishing career goes. How small are you, fish? Jeez. All that over you? I'm getting skill, though. We're going to be at 55%. With one more fish. I heard you. There it is. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. It's not a tench. It's a big old comet roach again, though. Ooh, nice. All right, that's it. Next time we tench fish, we're going for the big ones. Oh, and another thing, hook sizes. I would say it said in, in the description, tiny mouth size. So there you go, small hooks. I would say six to 10. Six to 10. I think that's where I am on all of them. We did pretty good on all of them, let's look. Sorrento, size 8, good quality hook. Berserk there, that's a pretty good quality hook. As good as I have on this account. Fantasia, 8. Simmons Happy Hook, CL CL11s, the green ones. They're my favorite hooks. And the Asteria, I got a 6. So all in there, 6, 8, and 10 I got. And did pretty good on all of them. That's something I probably should pay more attention to. I've started to. For bream and this and that and whatnot, but I usually like going with the number twos or ones or really big stuff if I'm going for sturgeon, which I don't. All right, cafe. Got some carp for you, gentlemen. You're going to eat well tonight. You partying in there? Uh -huh. Oh, we got to get drunk yet, too. 23 kg one. Nope. 3 kg one? Oh, we must have just missed that one. Common roach. Wouldn't sell you my common roach for that if you begged me. All right, here we go. Roll the music. Common roach. $663.84. Crap. A 2.161 kg grass carp. It's only $1.94. That's too bad. Crap, uh, 1.255 trophy common roach is 6.99. That's a small trophy. Crap, crap, crap. 3.927 black carp is 11.34. Crap, 
crap crap. 537 gram gibble, dollar forty-six. Crap, crap for the little swamp tart. A 1.035 common roach is 288. 91 95 cents for a 341 gram. Crap, crap. A 1.311 gibble. We almost got a trophy there too. Three three dollars fifty-seven cents. A 9.53 tench is 4.48. All right, we're getting the tenches now. 310 roach, 86 cents. 578 gram crucian, $1.69. A 1.04 kg tench is $4.89. Crap, 378 gibbles, $1.03. Crap, a 1.356 tench is 638. A 758 gram tench is $1.78. A uh, 968 gram tench is 4.55. A 2 kg grass carp, $1.79. That's just too bad. Crap, crap, crap. 633 gram tench is $1.48. Crap, 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 crap. So that's, what is that? 54, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 tench we caught. A lot of roaches and some nice carps. So, good day fishing. Sell it only 54.32. And we're probably only fished for about an hour and 10 minutes, maybe. Something like that. So, let's do it. It's a good. Ooh! We missed you. 6.99. Trophy roach. So, 150. We should be looking good. I had to buy a bunch of ground bait stuff. I'm loving that buy 10 button, but you spend a lot of money doing it. But we should be good for a few episodes, and that should sail us right up to the Asteria. And then we'll we'll buffer gear out with line better and whatnot and hooks, and then we'll pick out something new. If you guys want me to try anything other than the Asteria, I'm thinking Bolognese on this account. Because I'm planning on staying back here in the smaller lakes and doing all the higher end lakes with my main account. Just so I can get different gear and do different things. I like fishing on them both. And I got TL on this account. I got just all crap, crap, crap telescopics on my main account. I don't know what I was thinking. But alright everybody, I wanted to get out of the rain. I'll see you next week in Russian Fishing 4, and like always, have a good one. Should go have a beer with them guys. They do buy all my carp.